Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for another announcement. This time it is Indicator. Uh, let's just dive into this one, have a look at it. So we have got one title this month and it is the Universal Noir Volume 2 set. I'm a little behind on my Universal or my Noir sets from Indicator. I've still to watch Volume 1. Um, but... I love these sets. I think they're fantastic. Fred McMurray on the front of this one just makes it all that more exciting for me. So we've got Lady on a Train, Time Out of Mind, Singapore, A Woman's Vengeance, An Act of Murder, and The Lady Gambles. And they seem to range from 1945 to 1949. It's coming out on the 18th of September. Um... Starring the cream of US and British acting talent, including Dina Durbin, Ralph Bellamy, Phyllis Calvert, Fred McMurray, Ava Gardner, Anne Blythe, Jessica Tandy, Cedric Hardwick, Frederick March and Barbara Stanwyck. These dark and dangerous dramas feature witnesses to murder, rifts, amnesia and smuggling, murderous infidelity, mercy killing and a gambling addiction. So let's see what the special features are. We have a high def presentations of Lady on a Train, Time Out of Mind, Singapore, A Woman's Vengeance, An Act of Murder, Lady Gambles, original mono audio, audio commentary with critics and writers Glenn Kenny and Farrah Smith name on Lady on a Train, audio commentary with film historian Adrian Martin on Time Out of Mind, audio commentary with screenwriter and author Kelly Goodner and filmmaker and film historian Jim Hemphill on Singapore. Audio commentary with writer and film historian Pamela Hutchinson on The Lady Gambles, Jose Arroyo on Time Out of Mind, the writer and academic discusses the film. Neil Sinyard on A Woman's Vengeance, an in-depth appreciation by the author and film historian. Christina Newland on Ava Gardner, the writer and critic, considers the famous actor's noir persona. Hmm. Uh, Wings Up, WW2 propaganda film featuring the Lady Gamble star Robert Preston, alongside Hollywood legends Clark Gable, Gilbert Rowland and William Holden. Reward Unlimited, dramatised short film about the training of cadet nurses during World War II. Two, directed by Jacques Tournay and featuring Singapore star Spring Byington. The Library of Congress, a documentary short made as part of the American scene film series, narrated by Lady on a Train star Ralph Bellamy. French Town, a documentary short offering a portrait of a French town following liberation, narrated by a woman's vengeance actor Cedric Hardwick. Welcome Home, a documentary about returning soldiers following the end of World War II, narrated by an act of murder star Frederick March. And with this ring, dramatised promotional film for the film by uh, Muller Brewing Company, directed by John Bram. Mall Mystery Theatre, The Gioconda Smile, radio play based on Aldous Huxley's short story Later, adapted as a woman's vengeance. I kind of love those stuff. Um, and I've got another one as well, Lux Radio Theatre, Singapore a radio adaptation of the film's screenplay featuring Fred McMurray and Ava Gardner reprising their roles. Theatrical trailer, image galleries, new and improved English subtitles. We have a limited edition 120-page book. It's limited to 6,000 and it's UK premieres on Blu-ray, I assume, of all the films. Again, I don't know any of these films and from what I can tell, a couple of friends I spoke to, there's a couple of titles here that are really, really great. I'm hoping the rest of the set is as good. I kind of burnt myself out a little bit with um, the Columbia Noir Volume 5 set, the Humphrey Bogart set, which I had high hopes for, and it just didn't quite land for me. The reviews for that have been exceptionally late, but are coming soon because they're all done now, and I'm ready to dive into Universal Noir Hopefully catch up with that by the time the second one comes out. I'm going to get this one. Uh, I just kind of love these sets. Now, it's a bundle package, which basically means if you order Universal Noir 2 and you uh, put in the bundle code, you get 10% off. 
So I will, of course, be doing that because I need to continue my noir sets, which are, you know, on the whole, pretty fantastic. What I would love to know from you guys out there is about these films. Do you know anything about them? Is there anything you would really recommend? Anything you, you're kind of like warning this isn't a great film? Because you guys are way more knowledgeable than me and it's great to get some of your opinions as well. So drop them in the comment box below and uh, educate me a little bit on these films. As always, there's more content here if you want to see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership programme, mandyfilm.com.